Hello again, boys and girls, and welcome back to another English class. In the lesson of this week, we are going to make a review of content, so try to pay a lot of attention because maybe there are some things that you didn't catch during the lessons, the previous lessons, and here is when you, when you try to be try to illuminate, okay, and try to understand all the things that you don't understand during the classes, okay, or maybe to refresh your mind. So, let's start. As I said you before, welcome back, students. Welcome back to this beautiful English class. What you will need for today, okay, because you will need something to, to this class. Okay, number one, your got it book. If you have it, of course, it's not an obligation. Number two, a pencil if you want to write something important. Number three, your notebook, of course, because if you have a pencil but you don't have a notebook, how you can write it? Number four, a lot of energy to participate in the activities. And number five, and this is the last thing, a lot of motivation, okay? Try to try to be motivated in this class okay let's start with the review this is review of unit number three part two okay let's work a little bit with words okay maybe you're asking what we're going to work so with what kind of words can you remember the words of the weather and the temperature that we learn in this unit try to think try to find that kind of words in your brain in your memory because now we're going to remember only the words of temperature okay we're not going to focus on sorry we are not going to focus on temperature we are going to focus on the words of the weather okay sorry for that so let's begin the weather and the temperature here we have some pictures that are going to be very very helpful for us to understand what are these kind of new words for us maybe are not new for you but because you already work with this word so here we have the first one that is foggy pay attention to the picture because here you have a weather that is called foggy in spanish this will be like cuando hay neblina en un lugar okay Let's go with this other one, raining. And here we have a girl that is enjoying that raining. This in Spanish, it will be lloviendo, lluvia, okay? Let's go with this one, pay attention. This is the beach and we have here palms. And the weather here is windy. And this kind of word in Spanish will be ventoso. What this what this is mean que, que corre mucho viento, okay let's go with the other one snowing and the lady also is enjoying the snow uh, what is snowing in spanish nevando nieve okay uh, actually is nevando instead of nieve okay then we have cloudy pay attention here it has to be with the word cloud so Cloudy it means nublado. And finally, sunny, like the candies, sunny. This is soleado. Okay, cuando se empieza a hacer calorcito. Okay, I hope that you understand all the words. Our only six are not too many. So now let's continue with the grammar. Regular verbs, okay? Remember that we're talking about past simple actions, okay? Let's start here. Remember that we're going to use the words or the letters ED at the end of all people. What I am talking about people, I am referring to I, uh, you, she, he, it, you, we, and they, okay? So we're going to use with all people, and here we have an example. Walk, this is the base form and to, to transform this base form into a past simple verb we're going to add ed at the end of the word like for example here walk it okay 
Also, we use it to describe simple past action that is start and finish in the past. This is the definition of a past simple. Okay, when you want to talk about something that start and finish in the past, you use regular and irregular verbs, okay, to refer in that past action. And here, finally, we have something that is called spelling variation, okay? And here you have the rules. We have three rules that are very, very important, okay? Verbs that ending in E, like, for example, like, you're not going to put a gem, an E and a D. You're only going to put a D at the end, okay? As you can see here, like, and we put only D. Number two, verbs that end in with a consonant plus Y, change the Y to I and add ED. Let's see the example. Tidy, here you have the Y, and uh, before the Y, you have a consonant, the letter D. So, what you're going to do? You're going to erase that Y, you're going to put an I and an ED at the end. And finally, number three, short verbs ending in a vowel plus consonant, double the consonant and add ED. Like, for example, stop. Stop is a short verb and end in a vowel plus consonant, we're going to plus, double, sorry, the consonant, because here we have the vowel, and here you have the consonant, so you're going to double the letter P. Stop, stop it, okay? I am going to remember also that you probably, you need to learn this kind of rule for the spelling variation, okay? Because are, as I said you before, things that are not to the common rule. Let's continue. Irregular verbs, okay? Now we're going to talk about irregular verbs. Irregular verbs don't follow, don't follow a pattern, okay? So you need to learn them, okay? It's not like irregular verbs. In regular verbs, you have rules, you have ending, you have a lot of things that you, that you can follow. But in this opportunity, irregular verbs don't have that, okay? So... Here you have some examples. All the black words are base form and all the red words are past simple actions. So, base form, run, what is the past simple? Run. Go, this is the present, went, the past. Drink, the present, drank, the past. Buy, the present or the base form. Past, bought. Break, broke and sit sat okay also remember that you will need to use a list of irregular verbs because in english we have so many irregular verbs and you're not going to learn them maybe in a couple of days or a couple of weeks it's a uh, it's a hard work okay to try to learn with practice a lot of practice uh, these actions so what do we have here? Let's see the next presentation. Okay, that's it. There you have the review of the unit number number three. Now let's work. And the question is, are you ready for the test? Because we have the mission accomplished, okay? And also, level up. We pass all the levels. So remember that you can answer, that you can ask, sorry, you can ask all your doubts, all your questions. I am going to be very, very glad to hear and, and answer those doubts. So don't be shy. You can say it me and you can set it in classes or you can write it if you if you are a shy person. So take care, have a great day and see you. Bye bye kids.